Hey, what's up? It's Chris and welcome to another video. So before anything else, maraming salamat kasi naka 500 subscribers na tayo. Finally, konti na lang mag 1 million subscribers na tayo. So anyway, if you still haven't, please do subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button over there and then hit that notification bell na rin to get notified whenever I post new content. You may also follow me on my IG and on my Twitter. It's at Chris Bellison. It's at C-H-R-I-S-B-E-L-I-S-O-N. Alright, so para nga sa video, 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 para nga sa video na to, kwentong barbero. No, hindi ako mag invento ng kwento para lang sa inyo, para sa video na to. Kasi syempre, hashtag no to fake news pa rin tayo. nag pa yun ha? <laughs> hashtag bars. Bars! Alright, so for today's video, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo yung bagong na-discover ko na barbershop dito sa Los Banyo. So, konting backstory muna tayo. Sa buong buhay ko, mga tatlo o apat na tao lang yung pinagkatiwala ko magkupit ng buho ko. So, yung una doon, kalimutan ko na yung pangalan niya, pero siya yung nagugupit sa akin buong grade school life ko. And then, yung second naman, si Tita Gina ng Image Zone, siya yung nagugupit sa akin mula high school hanggang college ako. Yung period na yon si Tita Gina lang talaga. Ang kaso, ng ibang bansa na siya, so I had to find another shop or another salon kung saan ako pwedeng magpagupit. Fortunately, may nakita naman ako sa SM Calamba. Yung isang salon doon, okay din yung stylist ko doon, tapos parang ever since na nag-work ako up until recently, doon talaga ako nagpapagupit. However, may mga instances kasi recently na medyo na turn off na ako dun sa service nila kaya parang gusto ko na maghanap ng ibang shop. Parang gusto ko na maghanap ng ibang shop kasi nga parang hindi na okay sa akin yung services nila. So fortunately, may sinadjust na barbershop yung isa kong friend. Tapos, dito lang rin yung sa Los Banyos. So sinabi ko na the next time na magpapagupit ako, tatry ko dun para rin ma-share ko sa inyo yung experience ko with that new barbershop. So before ako nagpagupit nitong gupit ko na to, um, siguro mga more than 2 months akong hindi nagpa-cut kasi wala lang. Tinry ko lang talaga na magpahaba ng buhok. Tapos, okay naman siya pero ang hirap mag-ayos. Hindi <laughs> pala mahirap. Nakakatamad. Sobrang nakakatamad. So, ayun. So, I decided to have my haircut and then last Sunday, February 24, so, pinuntahan ko na yung barbershop na nirecommend sa akin. And if you wanna see my experience with that barbershop, just keep on watching. Namo Barbers and Pomade Shop is located on the second floor of Ben Ross Grove Center which is just a few meters from UPLB's main gate. Kung alam nyo kung nasan yung shapers, well, nasa taas lang noon yung shop. This location is actually quite perfect since it's near the university and very accessible to the residents of Los Banos. Namo has been around for almost a year. They're actually going to be celebrating their first anniversary this coming April. Namo is quite small and as of my last visit, mga hanggang tatlong customers lang ang kaya i-accommodate at a single time. Hopefully ay makakuha sila ng mas malaking pwesto soon. Since this is an LB, you can expect na medyo affordable lang dito. The prices of their services range from 99 pesos to 159 pesos only. Yes, it's a bit steep for a barbershop, but Namo is not your ordinary barbershop. First of all, hindi mo kang barbershop ang Namo. Its design is a mix of wooden and industrial elements which create a very manly aesthetic fit for a barbershop, but the addition of several books, plants, and even a showcase of their pomade offering refined the overall look of the place. I especially like the circular mirrors and yes, marami akong pictures na kinuha sa harap ng salamin na yan. I had my hair cut by Kuya Danji and well, the experience was really good. Sabi ko nga kanina, Namo is not your ordinary barbershop. Kuya Danji was very meticulous and was very careful. 
Ilang beses din siyang nagtanong kung anong gusto kong gawin for a specific area or part of my hair. And as a customer, I highly appreciated that. Okay, so syempre ang galing ko, hindi ako nakapagdala ng charger ng phone noon. Kaya nag-empty bat yung phone ko, hindi na ako nakapag-vlog. Pero after akong gupitan ni Kuya Danji, meron pa yung parang pa-hot towel, meron pang pa-massage, tapos bin-low dry pa, tsaka nilagyan ng product yung buho ko. Sobrang sulit kasi 119 pesos lang yung service na yun. Eh, usually, kapag ganong ka-intense yung service, siguro around 250 to 500 pesos yung, yung usual na ginagastos ko. So, 119 pesos. Sobrang okay. So as of now, medyo maliit yung shop nila. Pero nakausap ko si Kuya Danji and hopefully daw makapag-expand sila soon. And sana nga talaga kasi ang ganda-ganda ng service nila. Parang it's not your typical barber shop Kasi unang-una, yung attention nila to detail. Parang sobrang intense. Parang kung ano talaga yung sinabi mo, yun talaga yung gagawin nila. At saka ang pinakagusto ko is that habang ginagawa nila, parang ina-update ka kung ano na yung ginagawa sa buhok mo. Tapos may ipapakita sa'yo na kung paano niya gagawin. Tapos aantayin niya yung approval mo bago siya mag-proceed. So parang very well guided yung entire process. So parang collaborative talaga yung process. So kung ano yung gusto mo, yun talaga yung lalabas dun sa style ng hair na pinapagawa mo. So ayun nga, bukod sa pagiging mura ng services nila, sobrang okay pa nung results nung first time na pagpapagupit ko sa kanila. So I think it's safe to say na sana mo na ako laging magpapagupit from here on out. And if you are near the area, I suggest you go check them out if you still haven't. They're going to be celebrating their first anniversary this April. So I suggest that you guys check out their Facebook page para malaman nyo kung ano yung mga posibleng maging promo nila for this April. So malamang April, bumalik din ako dun kasi by that time gusto ko na ulit magpagupit. And I'm pretty sure na magugustuhan nyo rin yung experience nyo kapag nagpagupit kayo sa NAMO. So that being said, I think I can say that I am officially hashtag namufied. Alright. Again, do check them out on Facebook and while you're at it, follow nyo na rin ako sa mga social media accounts ko. So again, it's at Chris Bellison for Twitter and IG. And of course, kapag hindi pa kayo pag subscribe sa channel na to, please do subscribe and then hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I post new content. Alright, so I guess that's it. I'll see you guys around and don't forget to always make it count. Bye-bye.